Hey, yo, folks. How are you all doing? Can you hear me? Can you hear the music? Hang on. Wait, wait, wait. Can you see me? Hello. I haven't been on camera in, like, forever. Um, so this is, like, just a reminder. Hey, I'm alive. More than anything. Ah. Uh, the Flash. It's like, ooh! <laughs> He's old. Hey, how's it going, though, folks? Y'all, very welcome. Reading chat here, but the camera's here. Hello, hello. White man jump scares. Like, ah! <laughs> oh, Jesus. How y'all doing? It's good to see you here. Hope everyone is having a lovely weekend. Hope everyone's having a good day. Sorry I'm late for the stream. Um, I was out playing Pokemon Go. Uh, cause it's the Mareep Community Day. Uh, I've, I've no shame. That's why the stream is late. I was like, running laps, I'd basically- I, I gotta get one. I did get a shiny Mareep in Pokemon Go. Thank you, thank you for the cheer- thank you! Thank you for the cheering. Butter, thank you for the tier 3. Um... Yes, yeah, so that's why the stream's late. It's just, it, they have Community Days. I got a shiny Mareep, I got a shiny Ampharos. I'm happy. Um... I didn't expect to be streaming today, either. I was gonna be away originally, I was planning to take today off, but, uh, I'm here. Um, and I thought, as promised, uh, with the vote the other day, we'd finally do just a chill Pokemon stream. Um, because I've been saying that I've been wanting to do that for months. And it feels like every other stream's like, God, you know, I just want a shiny on. Uh, so, that's what we're doing. Uh, we'll go about three hours. Uh, cause yes, Doctor Who is on tonight, so, <laughs> goodbye. Uh, goodbye come the evening. Uh, but yeah, we'll go about three hours. Uh, it's just gonna be chill. This is just a chat with chat day. It's gonna be nice and peaceful. He's a nerd. Yeah? You, you caught me. Um, but yeah, it should be nice. And laid back today. Uh, a bit of housekeeping before we get going too. I just want to mention, um, just the weekend that it is. Uh, merch shop. It's Black Friday weekend because it's, you know, Friday wasn't enough. Society. Um, but all my merch is 60% off. Well, like, very close to 60%. It's like a little bit under. Uh, but it's all heavily discounted for this weekend only. Uh, because we are actually clearing our stock. Uh, we are clearing it out. We're clearing the space to make way for new merch in the new year. Um, so this is the last chance to get, like, the I Want Die plush. There's a Christmas jumper there. And there is... Let's see, the, the RT Game hoodie. The, the Color of Lock one. Last chance to get them. They're close to 60% off. They're all heavily discounted. The I Want Die plush is 15 quid. Uh, it's there if you want it. Um, I hope people enjoy them. Thank you if you already got one, of course. Yeah, we're clearing out the stock and the inventory because we're making way for new shit in the new year. Um, so, I want to give that a, a heads up. Housekeeping. Do you have any plans for the anniversary of becoming the Drift King? <laughs> I think I think I'm going to be in Bristol, like very close to the anniversary with the Ogs cast with the Jingle Jam. And um, we are doing Mario Kart and I'm going to be one of the hosts for that. That'll be fun. Uh, so, I'll, 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 be, I'll be trash talking to them. Do you like my Drift King shirt? Got like crowns all over me. <laughs> um, yeah, I got stuff coming. You gotta practice. He gets his driver's license. <laughs> Finally, I can actually drive. <sighs> but yeah, uh, we're gonna be chilling. Hey, let me get up the, like the background. What we have today? Background, but it's what we're it's what we're playing. It's what we're doing. Uh, we're shiny out in Zekrom again. In Pokemon Sword and Shield. Uh, we've been doing this since the DLC came out for this game. Uh, just on and off. You might be like, there are streams literally from two years ago where this is what we were doing in the background. You might remember the pizza stream. That's what we were doing then. Boris is back. Yeah, we we, we get to see Boris every now and then. Uh, why? I, I'm in the Scarlet Violet category on Twitch as well. Just because it's a weird thing with the Pokemon games. In general, Pokemon community just puts the categories the newest game, even if it's technically not correct. Um, personal opinion, they should just have a Pokemon category on Twitch. I think that's 
solves the issue. Uh, but that's why we're listed there, in case you're wondering. He's lying. <laughs> just wondering about that. Yeah, it's just, just to explain that, um, if you're not really familiar with just Pokemon streams on Twitch, uh, but even if you're playing like ROM hacks and stuff, you just list the newest category because it's just where all the Pokemon crowd is. Um, they just need to change how categories work on Twitch. Misinformed. He's a liar. <laughs> like, get this guy. Twitch staff, you seeing this? Cannot believe this man. Oh god, real gamer, thank you for 100 bits. We play Hi-Fi Rush? Ah, uh, I've... I've got other games on my radar. That's... They change how bits are working in chat now as well. I see that that's like pinned at the top of chat as well as I get the alert for it now. It's kind of nice. That makes more sense than like the... Super chat stuff they just took from YouTube. They should like link the systems. It's cool. Thank you for all everyone subbing as well. It's good to have you all here. Hope everyone's day is going well. I can't remember where to pop the camera on this by the way. Uh, my desk is a little high. It's making me look a bit short. Hang on. Lower that. Staff fire the orbital laser at him. <laughs> He's a hobbit. <laughs> you guys are so fucking mean. How tall are you? I am 5'11", which is about a foot off, six foot tall, from what I understand. Okay. Oh yeah, and we're gonna we're gonna open this up. So if people are playing Sword and Shield, they want to shine you along with us. Uh, feel free to join. There's gonna be a code. I'm just gonna have it on screen. Uh, if you do join the session, I just ask that you try. Because <laughs> sometimes we get several come in. It's like I'm just gonna AFK for 90 minutes, and it's like oh, torturous. Yeah, people are welcome to join if you have Sword and Shield the DLC. Dad, why haven't you combed your hair? It's a mess. My hair is fine. It's a bit scraggly. I got a fucking haircut this week, right? None of that. Mustache hair. I, I shave. I don't think I have mustache hair. You guys are making me self-conscious. First time on camera in months, and it's like... Oh, God. Stop it. I don't believe you're 5'11". You look massive. What are you in centimeters? The re I know why people say that, though. It's because whenever I do stuff with Josephine, a cake jumper on her channel, the way that she has her camera set up for her bacon streams make me look like seven foot tall. Uh, and I think because of that, like, some people think I'm taller than I actually am. I, I, I'm really not that tall. I'm a, I'm a very average height. But it's just whatever way she had the camera set up, like, I'm literally towering over the setup. How tall is Cake? Oh, God. Like, 5'4", maybe? You're so tall. No, she's seven foot tall as well. No, she is. Yeah, I think I think I've set it up so it's online correctly. Uh, music is just a mix of 3DS stuff. It, it, music okay? It's not too loud. Just making sure. It's all good. Not too loud. Cool. Thanks, gang. Tone it down a bit. Yeah, it, it's supposed to only be background. I can lower it just a little. There you go. Uh, Dynamax Adventure. We're still hunting for fucking Zekrom. I think I've got it so the game audio is a bit quiet. I can change this after the first run if it's too quiet. Just let me know, okay? Uh, link code. It is simply all threes. Okay. Invite others. So if people want to join... Work away. Why? But why it's shiny sucks? I've been wanting this shiny for years, because Zekrom's one of my favorite Pokemon. It's just the fact that it's shiny. Uh, it's a slight little tweak. I kind of prefer its shiny palette a little bit. I think it's cool. And this is the only way to get shiny Zekrom currently in the series. 
uh, I believe. So, we're just going for it. Like, why not? It's been so long. Oh, no, no! Oh, I fucked up. I shouldn't mean to pick Barrascuta. Oh, someone take Stunfisk. Whoops. I forget Barrascuta exists. Like, it's like, I feel like, I feel like there's like a fish Pokemon every generation where it's like, it just exists. You know? He's already throwing. <laughs> yeah, please. But yeah, this is gonna be just be a very chill, kind of laid-back stream. Like, we're just gonna be shiny and chatting to you guys. Uh, hope you guys are having a nice weekend. How y'all doing? We know it's a Zekrom at the end, too. How y'all doing? Barrascuta's a fast boy. Yeah, but he's a bit... He's a bit shit. I actually don't know which way is, is even good here. Um, trying to, like, get a grasp of it? Um, maybe? G gang that's in the lobby, like, I'm just gonna trust you as for which way we're going here. It's been so long since I did this. You can give me the Ultra Sun, Ultra Moon, Wormhole Stance, not just Sword and Shield. Ah, but who has that one? No one bought that game. It's the only mainline Pokemon game I've ever skipped. I just wasn't interested. So I never done this in Sword and Shield. You should honestly try it, Kelly. Like, it's actually really fun. Um, it's basically like, um... I, I, you need the DLC for it, but it's it's just really fun. Um, do I just Dynamax? I, I don't. I well, no, I, I don't think I Dynamax. I think someone else might have something better they can do. Arrowscute is so bad. <laughs> Taking so much damage. Play Ultra Sun, Ultra Moon. Please do it so hard. I mean, I I've just not been interested. There wasn't enough like new stuff in that game for me to purchase it, like, is how it felt. I've seen like the stuff in it, like, there's a few cool bits, but, eh. I just wasn't that interested in like Gen 7's region, to be honest with you. Gen 7 Pokemon that were cool. But I just wasn't that arsed. Please try it. Nah, I'm, I'm good for now. I don't wanna. I've, I've got like so many Pokemon games I actually do wanna play, you know. I'm gonna spend my time playing the ones I do wanna. Missed out teacher on. I, I think I'm fine. Maybe someday, but I'm good for now. Legendaries are cool too. Bash was good in Sun Moon, but I never finished it. I, I liked base Sun and Moon, yeah. I, I mean, it was okay. Not my favorite gen. I mean, that's still Gen 5 for me, you know, I don't think anything's gonna replace that for a while. Scarlet and Violet's pretty good, though. It's just, uh, you know, a PS2 game, so... Main problem there. What do you think of Pokemon Ranger? It's okay. You did play Detective Pikachu. I was excited for Detective Pikachu, though. I think people forget that. I really want that game to be good. And I was just so bored and devastated. Um, shout out to the uh, the marketing guy at Nintendo of America Twitter who has to put up with seeing me every time they try to promote Detective Pikachu. We just say no and <laughs> we get more attention than their actual marketing post. It's quite funny and it brings me a lot of joy. Uh, sorry, marketing guy. It's not your fault. It's nothing personal. It's just uh, I'm... I'm Doing what I can to better society. Uh, I'm just gonna swap because anything's better than Barrascuta. No, oh, don't stop! Stunfisk! We need Stunfisk! He's good! Okay, uh, what have we got here? Grass? I have no idea what the- Oh, the fairy's a Grim Snarl. It's probably gotta be the Grim Snarl then. I think that's a Grim Snarl, yeah. You should do a collab someday. What? what Nintendo of America marketing Twitter guy? <laughs> I 
You guys should team up. Um, I mean, that's eventually good if I get something good. Might as well take it. Everyone's been wanting it. Okay, guys, crazy idea. I'm gonna work with a social media manager. Whoa! Pulling all the stops. RTM, the guy called Daddy. I'd like to take Grimstar out. Okay, all right. You, you can have Grimstar. I'm just we're gonna we're gonna need more. We're, we're gonna need more, but work, work away. As long as someone has it. I think Grimstar might may even just murder us here, to be honest with you. <sighs> Chip away at him. Which one of your Nuzlocke Pokemon was your favorite? Honestly, like, I think Oshawa is the most attached I've been to a Pokemon. Like, in a Nuzlocke setting. And I think that's just because of, like, the actual stakes for that Nuzlocke was so high. And, like, Oshawa really persevered through a lot in the Black 2 and White 2 run. Like, I was devastated when he died. Like, Crumpet, Crumpet was on the front line of battle as well, back in the Heart Gold Soul Silver one. That is true. Like, Crumpet had a rough time with some matches. But I think Oshawa was so much on the front line. And, like, that was a stupid Nuzlocke, too. Like, the amount of shit that just went constantly wrong. Whereas, like, Crumpet, you know, was, like, assured in victory half the time. Uh, like, calm and collected. But, like, Oshawa, like, endured so much. But I think it's gotta be him. I think you forgot about Shitface. No, no, I didn't. Yeah, because we've only done two Nuzlocks. Well, no, we've done we've done three because we've done two Gen Five ones and then Gold. Yeah, I mean Oshawott's in two of those too. I do love Crumpet. Do not get me wrong there. Of course, love Cupcake as far as like shiny hunting is concerned. Favorite shiny. Pair. Have you seen the start of Pokemon Battle Royale at least by Terminal Montage? No, I haven't. You weren't attached to our, our savior fodder. Ah, yes. How can I forget cannon fodder? Okay. Uh, if you want to take that over Garibador, work away. Main thing is we get Grimmsnarl on the team. So if Grimmsnarl stun Stunfisk. We only get a chance for one more. Dragonair can work. Ugh. What's that one on the left? That's a Tarantrum, which I don't know if that's an even good here. That's a that's an Armaldo. Um, it's kind of close. Oh, that's a Rhydon actually. Oh, Rhydon's insane because Lightning Rod, of course. Okay, so we we really need this. Yeah, okay, um, I'll I'll probably pick up right on if that's okay, gang. Uh, because, yeah, this thing has lightning rod, so this will just absorb attacks. Which is just really good. Still gonna have a rough time clearing some of these. Is my camera in a good spot, by the way? I'm not, like, blocking too much UI. I, I am blocking too much UI, hang on. There we go, I think that's a better spot. You can see me pick the move now. Um, just Fury Cutter? Only Dynamax Cider's any good here. Could be bigger, nah, nah, it's like, I don't, I don't need to take up the entire space here. It's like, hey, you're watching me. Camera should be about 50 times bigger. I'm only watching you, Dan Lama. How's it going? Oh, he's frozen. Very charming smile. Thank you. It's very kind of you. Don't know if it's in the game, but it seems to be a drop in frames. Honestly, it probably is the game. It probably is the game. Um...
you know, just Pokemon, Nintendo Switch era, it, it's laggy. Is Tinkerton your favorite new Pokemon? Yes. Uh, I mean, I, it's just such a cool design for Pokemon. I do love the Paradox Mons as well. I think that's like a really cool way like, of just revising old Pokemon. Like, I love that about like the regional forms because it just takes an old design and kind of breathes some new life into it. Like the Paradox Pokemon, they like they are just a new form of old Pokemon. You know, it's like here's a new Salamence. It's not Roaring Moon. It's like who remembers that? It's new. It's like Paradox Salamence. Paradox Volcarona. You know. I find them like really interesting design wise. They're taking a lot more liberties with some of them too. Like Iron Hands. Like uh, like has is one of like my favorite Paradox Pokemon. Which is wild, because I, I think Harry Ama is a really boring design. But I really like Iron Hands. I think that's just way more interesting. Same with, like, Iron Bundle. Like, Deli Bird, like, we've had him so long. But I like, I like Iron Bundle. I think it's a good revision of the design. It's just way more interesting. Okay, we desperately need this. Oh, it's got Rockhead. No. Oh, that's devastating. Freya, do you maybe want to take it? Because I realize that you've also... No, okay, you didn't enter your life there, but just go for it. I'll take it. Okay, so here we go. So every time we do this, it's a 1% chance that this is shiny. And we don't find out until the end of the run. If you haven't seen, like, the DLC for Sword and Shield before. You find out at the end, you get to preview all four Pokemon. With the shiny charm, it's basically a 1% chance of any one of them being shiny. And you get four chances at it. The one we want is Zekrom. It's a bit slow. But the, like, to get to the end, because you have to run through the dungeon effectively. But the odds are pretty good. Uh, like, compared to, like, most shiny odds in most games. Like, before Scarlet and Violet's, like, sandwich meta, like, this was, like, the most reliable way to actually get a shiny. I would say. How many times have you tried this? I, I, I honestly don't know. We have done this for multiple years, though, on and off. Um, but, like, you can literally go back, like, years of streams. There's so many ways. We're just trying to, we're fighting Zekrom again. We got all the other legendaries, too, now. I think it's very likely we'll get some Terror Raid Adventures in the Indigo Disc DLC so we can get Shinies with Unattainable Pokemon like the Sword and Shield DLC Legendaries and Enamorous. I hope so. I mean, I like a system like this just back in the game. Like, this is because this is like one of my favorite things in Pokemon ever is these Dynamax raids. I think they're just really fun and enjoyable. Like, they force you to use Pokemon you wouldn't use normally. And then there's also really cool rewards for doing it. Like, I, I, I think it's like a repetitive kind of. Battle system, but piece of end game content, but done right. But like, I've gotten like, like I'm, uh, probably over a hundred hours, even in just these raids. Um, you know, so uh, I, I'm a huge fan of them. I ho I'm hoping with the DLC that yeah, they're just like, hey, it's back. You know, it'll be cool. I wish that more than anything they just fix terror raids, uh, so they stop fucking lagging all the time. <laughs> because it actually is horrendous. It's so bad, like, and it, it, because it would be fun to do terror raids. It's not fun because the game is so broken. Like Dynamax raids are slow, but at least they work. At least they work. You know, like, like. Random bullshittery isn't happening every, like, 20 seconds as I'm doing this. Jesus, he's really beating us up. I think we'll be alright here. Lag is part of the challenge. It is. I tell you it's lag because it depends on the connection of all the users. But it's some kind of poor net code. It's not the u- I don't think it's the user's fault. Like, it's just Pokemon does not put enough development time in their games these days. That's the, that's that's the issue. 
Compare it to other like online games that like are working fine. There's just no excuse. Oh, I meant to use a Premier Ball. Oh, don't be the shiny this time, please. I would have got the wrong Pokeball after all this time. It'd be devastating. Okay. Let's see. I, 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 real quick cliffhanger. I have to actually use the Lou just for one quick moment. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. Sorry about that. Chair, my favorite RT game character. <laughs> you know it. He didn't wash his hands. I did. Grim snarl. Right on. Uh, that's not it, is it? I'm- I'm so used to going through them. I don't think that's it. Nope. Okay, we'll take a ride on this time. Uh, let me see if I have, like, even room to pick up ore anymore. Might not. Keep a record of where you found Zekrom. It's even in my party. Oh, bless the gangs here. I have a lamp in I must that must be from like a previous raid. Uh it's been so long I'm so used to like Scarlet and Violet's interface now that like I've kind of forgotten. But everything is. Let me pop some friends away. Uh wait, how many boxes for Oh Jesus, okay. Pop them away. And then I've got I've got 800 ore, so I can carry more. Okay. It's not an issue for like 20 more raids. Cool. Zekrom. Got full progress in this game? I do. Okay, link code. 33333. Merch link? Type exclamation point merch. You'll get the link. How'd you get the Victini? Um, that's one that I got in like an older game, I think, and I just transferred it up. Hey, okay, let's go. I'll change the link code each time. It gives some people, a like, some new people a chance to join in. Oh, this is great for Zekrom. There's already like so many here. Uh, for just like dealing damage. I I'll take a bomb of snow. Doug Trio as well. Okay, they, they, like we're sorted. Someone get that vanillish and then like we just see what we get. Like this, this is perfect. That's so good. Probably Crustle here is like your last one. Yeah, so th th this should be a pretty straightforward one. It's gonna be my birthday in 10 minutes. Can you wish me a happy birthday? Is it Graham? I see Gra. First time chat from William. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. William Graham. Gra. Hope you have a wonderful day. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. Oh, Jesus. Uh... Toten, oh god, I apologize for pronouncing this. Is it Toten Kopfdiener? Thank you for the 30 euro. ART for years you managed to entertain me, and now I want to say thank you at least once. Well, thanks. 
Also, I rewatched the Detective Pikachu Supercut on YouTube, and the game was so boring that I opened Twitch and finally did this. You're like so bored watching the YouTube videos, like, fuck this, I'm going somewhere else. Get me off this platform. I'm going to Twitch. Get, just get me out of here. Get me out. That's good to have you here. Thank you very much. That's very kind of you. Hope you enjoy my misery playing that game. YouTube deletes the video because it's so boring. <laughs> Yeah, that, that, that game really was torture. I, I I think that really is just the worst thing I've played now. It really... I, I can't... Because, like, Minecraft Story Mode is the only thing that would compare. But, like, at least Minecraft Story Mode was, like, so bad it's kind of funny. This was just bad. This is just really bad. <laughs> Hello from Dublin. Hope you're alright with all the crap going down here. Thank you very much. Yeah, I'm all good. Don't worry about me there. Dublin having a bit of a rough one, but we're all right. Yeah! <laughs> uh, Dr. Metal, thank you. Thank you for a thousand bits. Are you going to be an MCC again? Maybe someday. I haven't been. I don't think I have been this year, have I? I haven't been taking part in a while. Good fun, though. Dracolic. Crackle lack. Uh, I I just Obama Snow is just so good. I think I just, I think I just stay. I don't think there's any need to take that. Dan is simulation. What kind of questions? I'm AI generated. Yeah. Oh God. You find out about the divorce? No. Nope. Very disappointing. Okay, there's an Amoongus there. Oh god, I think I think we're probably gonna go that way. It's easier to kill. Probably. You, like you you just can't help yourselves. This they, they, this you guys will be like eighty years old someday in the nursing home. And uh, uh, your carer is going to be like, Oh, we're going to play around a bingo among us. And you'll be like... <laughs> like, it's a violent reaction. <laughs> Quickly, Grandpa needs his meds. Grandpa needs his medicine. Uh, Lila, thank you for the tier 3. Thank you very much. Caretaker is the imposter. <laughs> no one's gonna know what you're talking about. Like, it, it, like, it, like, cause that's when, like, people are gonna be moved on to, like, you know, Fortnite 2. The Elder Scrolls. Well, still 5, but... No one's gonna know what you mean. Avalanche. You know, as a VOD watcher, I tried watching those Detective Pikachu VODs, but for the first time I simply couldn't. That game deserved better. <laughs> Unster, thank you for the 275. Yeah, it was torture. I mean, we we literally only, like, suffered through it. To show people that, well, just to see if there was anything of substance in the game. And there wasn't. That That's why we did it. Like, because I wanted to stop playing that game after the first chapter. It was so bad. Just really boring. The divorce arc is what kept us going. Yep. Morbid curiosity on the divorce arc. It went nowhere. So. Terrible game. <laughs> Next time, like Nintendo of America is like trying to like marketing guys back pushing the game. I'm just gonna tweet at him. I want a divorce. <laughs> 
Because my hope is that somewhere in Nintendo internal, this makes it back to an executive who has to review why there's this weird social media presence around Detective Pikachu. And I, wa I, I want to cause that. Like, that's my goal now. Oh, God. Uh... Rambo, thank you for the 20 quid. Hey, have you ever thought of playing the Yakuza series? It started zero two months ago, and I'm already up to six. You're incredibly fun, incredibly Japanese. Uh, we, we've had Yakuza, like, come up a few times in the channel. It's like, there was, like, a game vote years back where that was an option, and it was in WWE as well. Um, it's one of those games, that, it's a series, like, it looks kind of cool, uh, but there's just a lot of stuff that I want to play. So it's just kind of hard to find time. I was watching a bit of it, because uh, Miss Cupcakes was actually streaming it this morning. Is that a wiggly tough? Who's the steel guy? Oh, that's a clink, no. There, there. Heard it's good fun, though. I was watching a bit of it this morning. Extreme fishing. Actually, it's a clang? Oh, sorry. I'm upset the, like, two guys who love clink. <laughs> Clang fandom is in shambles. I just use this. Link was rated top 100 hottest Pokemon. I wish I was kidding. He wasn't. It's no way. Fake Gen 5 fan. In response to the CEO makes every single Pokemon game now I'm featured Divorce Arc. I'm fine with that. You want more divorce in Pokemon? Let's go. Not a problem. I, I, if they make a Detective Pikachu 3, I'm going to be just pretty upset. I'm probably not going to play that one, even if it comes out like for morbid curiosity. I'm just not, not even going to bother. I doubt they would, though, considering the ending. Where he's no longer Detective Pikachu. Like, oh no, he became a Pikachu again. Where do you even? T you can't take the plot anywhere. Hey Dan, did you know Leon, the champion, has unbeatable Charizard? No way. God. Copy the movie a third time. First time in chat. I believe you meant three guys who like Blink. Like me too. Join in the Clink squad. Excuse me. Sammy, thanks for a thousand bits. Hey Dan, I thought you should know that the one that recommended the idea for WWE Me earlier this year. I'm happy knowing that I've become the root cause of your suffering starting tomorrow. And yes, I'll keep a dead count of every fuck up. Enjoy Sekiro. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> yeah, Sek Sekiro is gonna be fun. We we might be better at it. Maybe. Let's see how we get on. I don't think I, I'm I'm sticking with a bomb of snow. Swapping crossbow for that's not a bad idea. Damn, what are your thoughts on the upcoming shiny Charizard TCG card? It'll probably be a thousand dollars on the aftermarket. It actually very rarely reaches that kind of price in the aftermarket. Uh, the card value, I think, has actually gone down significantly. Um, there is a, yeah, there's a shiny Pokemon card set coming out soon that has a shiny Tinkerton. Which is just like, oh, that's cool. Keeping an eye on that one. Uh, but yeah, I, I don't think they go as high as they used to. I don't think they do. It was kind of like a bit of Pokemania again from, like, in more recent years with cards. But it's kind of seems to have settled. Again? Okay, oh, I mean... I 
think this is still good. It's gonna hurt our teammates a little, but I think it's still really good. You're gonna be pulling for Tinkerton if you get a box? Probably. Yeah, I, I do love Tinkerton. I should show you guys, like, my card binder at some point. Like, the next time we do a Pokemon card stream, remind me. Because I actually have, like, a card binder now. Like, it, I'm, I'm really happy with that, honestly. Actually, one of my dreams, like, since I was a kid, it was, like, to kind of get into cards properly like that, but I just never did. One of those, like, fun things of reclaim since being a responsible adult now. Uh, we'll do, we'll, we'll, we may be doing some more cards soon, though, on stream. Uh, coming up the Christmas season, if you're all good, might have something there for you. It should be good fun. Shiny Palafin looks amazing. The shiny Palafin is so cool. Yeah, I saw that one. I don't know if Kelly's still here in the chat, but you, you should look that one up. Such a cool art. I love, like, a lot of the character arts. Well, the, just the art in general they've done on more recent cards. It's so much better than it ever was. I I'm kind of happy with that, too, because I think I got into, like, collecting the cards a bit at the right time. Because I had some when I was a kid. So, you know, you get the classic designs. Um... But, like, ever since, like, with the Gen 8 cards specifically, like, the quality of the art is phenomenal. Like, it's actually, like, they're so pretty. And they've really incorporated, like, a variety of styles on the card art. And it's actually really nice. So I think I picked, like, the right time to, like, give it a go again. Love the full arts, yeah. Oh, gradually getting there. Keep hitting him. That crumb did not like my wiggly tough. Uh, as long as we don't perish again, we'll be all right. I, th I think I think we'll be good here. Shocked if we lose this. Just max hailstorm. Yeah, the card art is just really fun. Like, I even like just getting, like, the boxes sometimes where it's like you just get a promo guaranteed. Because those ones just have special arts. Like, they're just really fun. Paradox Rift ones look really cool. The top of Shinies, which is your favorite? I mean, my favorite Shiny is Shiny Cupcake. Like, it's Wooloo. Shiny Cupcake. I don't think anything will ever change that. Because, like, Wooloo just means a lot to me as a Pokemon now because of everything we did there. Okay, make sure to use the right ball this time. Do I have a Premier Ball? Yeah, I have 127. We're fine. Always, you have a story behind the shiny, therefore it's always going to be sentimental to you. Now, that's that's the thing. Yeah, like, and it really is. It's like, you know, I have a shiny Tinkerton as well, but, like, for me, it's just... Tinkerton is kind of like the love there, more than anything. Like, it's just a really fun Pokemon design. Taffy No is, like, engraved into my skull now at this point. Okay, Dracolac. Moongus. Wigglytuff. I don't think there's anything here, is there? Don't think so. No. Dracloak, or however you pronounce it. Okay. Let's go again. Yeah, that's how Pokemon become favorites, though. You know, like you have like a story or some kind of attachment to them. Yeah, and I think uh, uh, a lot of people are drawn to Gen 1 in that just because, you know, when you were kids and that, you just had a lot of stories, like playground stories even. Like talking about playing Pokemon and stuff. Ask was all four this time, by the way. But, you know, but you can still have those stories. Like, you know, Cupcake is just ultimately pixels on a screen. That shiny Wooloo. But it's the journey to get Cupcake that makes her really special. And then just, like, destroying... The entirety of the United Kingdom with this sheep afterwards. It's quite funny. Emperor, thank you for the 1050 bits. Hey, Dad, hope you haven't forgot had dinner yet as I'm setting up a pizza fund for you. 
Can't have a Pokemon chill night without pizza. <laughs> Not again. No, no, no pizza tonight. Okay. Ah. Uh, I mean, Marowak is just cool. So I'm gonna pick him. Getting, getting some rougher starts this time. Gorgeist can kind of work at the end. Sneasel's not bad. Sneasel's okay. You are a gamer. You must eat the pizza. <laughs> also, beware. I love beware. Trying to... Trying to quickly see. Sigilyph. You get the beware, get whatever the ground type is. You get the stunfisk. And then uh, it's something. Okay, I'm going for Big Bear. Milo, thank you for the 10 quid. Hey Dan, wishing you best of luck in your shiny Zekrom grind. And speaking of, have you ever played the Poker Park spin off games back when Gen 5 came out? No, I haven't. Uh, people do keep recommending those in like the suggestion box in the Discord and that. People have fond memories of those ones. Uh, I, n I never personally played him, though. He's so tall. <laughs> Love this dude. He's like one of my favorite Gen 7 ones. I think like Decidueye is my favorite there, but this guy comes close. He's, he's Murder Bear. Comically sized bear. Why is there still people playing this? Well, there's some of us here who are all joining in. That's 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 the idea. It makes it fun to stream this too, you know, because like I think a lot of us have these games and just play Scarlet Violet now. It's nice to go back to this bit of content because I think it's really fun. But you know, if they if they add this to Scarlet Violet, then like we're probably not going to be playing this one anymore too. Like what you know, what, what's the point? We can just play it on the more modern game. Oh, modern. Some water. Like a beware is just an evil teddy bear. He's just a dangerous little bear. Stuffle goes on like a murderous rampage. Would have enjoyed this kind of raid with terrors. Yeah, I mean, I, I think it would have been fun. The terror raid thing they do, I like the concept of it. It's just in practice, it's shit. <laughs> I guess the problem, if they just fix the online, I think it'd be a lot more enjoyable. But. Oh well. You know. Pokemon team is a small indie dev, lest we forget. Need the DLC to do this, right? You do. I want to hug Beware, but he'd probably suffocate me. I think this game in some aspects is weirdly more competent, like despite not having complex roots, it's still building interiors. Yeah, it is. Like, like I mean, th this game is still like quite flawed. The base game for this is just, it's not great. The DLC really saves it. It just adds like so much extra content and like stuff that you want to do. That makes it like a fundamentally better game. I'm still of the camp where, like, I think Gen 5 is the best one they've done. I don't think X and Y was as good. Uh, Alpha, the Sapphire, and Omega Ruby were really good. They maybe actually like Gen 3. Um, Sun and Moon is just pacing problems more than anything. It was, like, so handholdy. It's kind of rough. Like, handled in a bad way, because, like, uh, Black and White has that at point, like, Black and White does have that to a degree, and it is a crit criticism of those, because, like, there's so much story stuff happening, but it tends to actually be interesting. Whereas in later Pokemon games, like, your hand's being held and nothing's happening. <laughs> you know, so, I would argue that's worse. Okay, I don't think I want Beware. Of the two of these, I, I think Marowak is still 
probably best for me. He's best. Uh, Jello Gumdrops, thank you for a thousand bits. Hi, Dan. I started watching your streams more last year when I got COVID. Here I am a year later still watching and sick again. Not COVID, though. Thanks for comfy stream today. Hope you feel better soon. Thank you very much. Get some resting. Oh, hang on. Uh, who's that? That's a frost mod. He doesn't have ice type attacks. Don't know who that steel type is, ground. Uh, Giggle, thank you for a thousand bits. Hey, Dan, I've decided to set out the, on an epic saga to complete all 96 tracks on every CC. Wish me luck. Oh, God, love you. Best of luck. On every CC, 50 CC is going to take you a stupid amount of time. Like, that's excruciating. Good luck. I can use Flare Blitz, but... I mean, this is, this is gonna get me killed, because they have so much health. Probably just use Shadow Bone. If I can use Flare Blitz with the Dynamax, then that'll, that'll do the job. Your ability, you might have Rockhead. Oh! Shit, you're right, sorry. Forgot about that. Hello from Singapore. How you doing? My only experience with Scarlet and Violet is playing the game day one, trying to catch Riola in a cliff, and I got teleported over the cliff, let me get out of the area I was supposed to be in. <laughs> I mean, I think Scarlet and Violet, you can just pretty much explore wherever pretty early in that game. I do like that. I, I, I think th it's weird. I think they just forgot to commit to the, the open world. The gyms still being in a set order literally doesn't make sense. Because they say it's like, hey, you can do whichever one you want first. But there's an intended way to, so what is the point? You know? Didn't make sense. It's still a really fun Pokemon game, though. Like, it, it really is. If the core experience of just like catching the Pokemon more than anything is actually so fun. I think Legends Arceus like, was a huge step in the right direction for that. It makes you want to just actually catch them all. Or it's just like some old ones where it's just like, I'm not arsed. Still a Pokemon, though. It's, it's always just a bit of a mixed bag. You live in hope for Gen 5 remakes, am I right, gang? Aha. Aha. Oh, fuck it up. Yeah, okay, uh, someone should probably take this. Someone should... Yeah, there we go. I'm good with that. Thanks, Ender. Probably just a good one to have. Yeah, it's a Vikaval. That's a bird that's gonna die. I I don't know what's in the electric bu bucket. I can't see what's there, but there's items past it, so we probably still want it. Gen five remakes are probably fine as long as Ilka doesn't make them. That's the problem. <laughs> What if? Crazy idea. Oh, it's just a rope on cue. Yeah, I think I don't think we'll be killing this one ourselves now. Got too much backlash? It, it, it's like you do know it's like the fourth most successful Pokemon game ever made. That's the thing, it doesn't matter. Even like the Diamond and Pearl remakes, they sold like 20 million copies or something stupid. It doesn't matter.
Everything on Switch is like so shit though. I think red, blue, and like yellow are still the most profitable ones, but then it's sword and shield, and then it's scarlet and violet now. That's the rankings. So I think it might be like fourth or something is diamond and pearl. Lily still like glitches and stuff from back in the olden days. It's mad. Yeah, I, I like whatever way they did that, it just didn't make any sense. I feel like they literally just took the code from the DS game. It's like, let's just make it look pretty. Forgot to make it look pretty. <laughs> Shout out to that one guy though, who, like modded Kirby into the game. Um, uh, for Diamond and Pearl because the game's made with Unity. Um, so, like, it's really accessible in, ter in terms of just modifying it. So we'll just put Kirby in and a bunch of other Pokemon. It's actually really fun. I like seeing updates, like, the Kirby mod is progressing. The real use for Diamond and Pearl remakes. Okay, one more. Any plans to do more Kirby games? I have a few, but I just haven't felt like playing them. There's just been other stuff on my radar, to be honest. But like, still a few games I want to get in before the year is out, you know? We do have Sekiro, but I'm hoping we have Turnip Boy uh, Robs a Bank soon, too. That's coming out pretty soon, I think. Uh, I don't think I need Rotom. I think Rotom's that... Good. Can I use Will O Wisp on the on Zekrom here? Does it actually still work? Because I need to do that. Boost defense on grassy terrain. It does. Okay. I, I don't really want the life orb because I'm gonna die too quick. Glumberry might be the best one. At least the rest of the gang got something better, though. Where will Sekiro start? Tomorrow. Clearly the next thing we're playing. Looking forward to that. Should be good fun. Slap quick burn. Oh, it's lagging something fierce. <laughs> Just taking its sweet time to boot up. Zdisco, thanks for 100 bits. From many sources, BDSP. By the way, <laughs> the acronym for the Diamond and Pearl remakes is just unfortunate, but carry on. BDSP started development in March 25th, 2020, around the same time when the Sword and Shield DLC got announced. You know, it's only in development for one and a half years, which really shows. Yeah, that, that that's horrendous. But what if they didn't do that? Counterpoint. I know it's wild, but what if instead of focusing on money, you put effort and qu time into your game and actually try to improve its quality? Wild concept. And they'd get less money. Oh no! What will they do? Surely not. No, no. <sighs> but Dan, the shareholders. <sighs> I can't wait to have my own board of sh board of shareholders. You know, holding me accountable for the streams. Like, I'll be like, like, kind of planning streams and like content I want to make. I was like, oh shit, I just got a shit one out tonight. Quickly! The shareholders, they need their finances! That, that could be my future. That could be me. Board, my, like, my board of directors overseeing me. You do, it's us Discord professors. 
chat is the shareholders. Well, I'm not getting much return on my investment here. Uh, Kai Kai, thank you for 500 bits. I work at GameStop and can 100% confirm that it doesn't matter the quality. Pokemon will always sell. We got 300 copies for the Scarlet Violet launch. In four days, we sold at least 200 of them. It's crazy. Yeah. I mean, I, uh, I am also at fault there as someone who loves Pokemon and also purchases the games and streams them. Basically, effectively advertises them for free. Um... You know, I just, I just want them to care a bit more. <laughs> I do still have fun playing Pokemon. It just could be, could be more, could be more. Reminder: Detective Pikachu returns sold out too. I was afraid of that, but I, I, I mean, I tried on that one though. That's the, I think that's the only time I've ever been like, do not buy this game. <laughs> Like, anti-marketing. Like, actively trying to encourage people, it's dog shit. You know? I, I, I've, I've tried. I've really tried there. Okay. Beware. Stunfisk. Rotom. I don't think there's anything there. No. Red eyes again. I think we're looking for a different color eye on the Zekrom, yeah. I think that is the tell. It's blue eyes. It's only a very slight variant in the color. Save the adventure. And now it's all set. Later, Detective Pikachu was the quickest I've ever been talked down from a game. I was eager to play, so you did great there. I'm glad. Okay, I'm glad. I, I, if I stop I, a single person buying that game, like my work here is done. Mission accomplished. That, because that was the point. What's your impossible dream for Pokemon? Uh, black and white remake slash hybrid of black and white and black and white 2 uh, with the uh, graphic style of Octopath Traveler. That's what I want. <laughs> it's probably not going to happen. But that, 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 that's what it's been for many a year. Some kind of combination of those two games. So that you can get all their features. Uh, which is, you know, that graphic style. Yeah, maybe some strong starts here. Vanillish is good. Grab him. A lot of water types, which is unfortunate. <laughs> Gonna have to replace him. Buy Square Enix and they'll do it. Yeah, sure. What's, what's their market value? Let me just get the few, like, billion dollars I got in my wallet. Okay, so we need... Okay, Golurk is actually good, so we just need like two replacements. Is Mr. Mime. The Ice one over there might be good. You go for like the Ice Fairy route, because I think that's another Grim Snarl. You probably want to go this way. Don't want... No, gang, we don't want Mr. Mime! Oh, no, I don't think we're going to be able to get the Grim Snarl now. Oh, no. Well, we'll have to take him on board. Look at this dude. I just checked eBay. There's, people, there's nine people selling a shiny Zekron from as little as 99p to 55 pounds. You'd be better off buying one. It's like such a weird thing. Isn't it? Let me like purchase this Pokemon online. Just sell it. 
<laughs> Look at this. Look, this is like a patented RT game Wooloo. You could have a Pokemon from my save file. <laughs> Sounds like IRL Team Rocket. I won't really defeat the point. Yeah, the point. The point is the hunt. There needs to be a bit of a hunt. It's not rewarding otherwise. One of one authentic cupcake. What? What a fucked up thing for me to do after all. So imagine like I just took cupcake and like just auctioned her. <laughs> like the actual one we caught. It's like you could have her. It's so twisted. Pokemon NFT. I mean, it effectively is at that point. It's what the, yeah, it's what the shareholders would want. No, you're right. You're right. Sorry. Think, think of the shareholders. Give you every single shiny transfer to your Pokemon home account. All I need is your Nintendo account username and password. Don't forget the three silly numbers on the back of your credit card. Uh. Uh, Pepper, thank you for 100 bits earlier. What do you think of the game of the year uh, nominees? Uh, yeah, it's, it's actually it's an insane year for games. Like, Jesus, so much came out. I mean, my my. Vote is for Tears of the Kingdom. Game Awards. But I, I, I mean, I haven't got, I sadly have not got around to playing Baldur's Gate. I think that's a very wordy contender as well. I, I've heard people have had an amazing time with that game. But for me, like, personally, it just has to be Tears of the Kingdom. Like, here, here's, this is the Tears of the Kingdom controller we're even using, you know, like... Like, uh, that game to me is, like, just one of the best Zelda games ever made. It's better than Breath of the Wild. Knocks it out of the water. I think it probably is just the best Zelda game ever made. Um... I, I can't really see these Pokemon. Stop! Okay, I was too slow. too slow. I mean, someone could take a random one here. I don't think I need to. We we're already set. We'll have a uh, Vanillax and uh, Golurk for the end. Fire Stomp's okay. That's a ground type. What exactly is the goal here? Shiny Hunt. Get a Shiny Zekrom. Yeah, there's a lot of games that just came out this year. Um, like, it actually is just shocking. With the quality of a lot of those titles, too. It'll be fun to watch. Like, it's gonna be it's gonna be on the 7th, isn't it? Yeah. I'll watch it from Bristol. Have you gotten any from these raids? I've gotten like quite a few shinies. I've gotten like 20 shinies like three years of doing this. Any plans to explore the Sky Post game? Yeah, eventually. The, the reason I actually haven't... Uh, <laughs> very silly reason for not doing it, but like... Um, I'm actually very sentimental about some of the post-game content for Explorers of Sky, which is the main reason I actually haven't done it. I just don't think I'm ready. That's it. You know, so I'll, I'll do it like when I want to. I will get round to it though at some point, yeah. Be nice to show. I 
there's a few games like that that's like, you know, I've, I've just got stuff I want to play in general. I'm ex really excited for Sekiro stuff. That's gonna be great. It's gonna be great. I have to keep telling myself that. Be ready for tomorrow. Or I'm gonna be in trouble. You have more fun playing Violet and Scarlet than you did playing Sword and Shield. I mean, I... It's actually kind of close, but I think in regards to the game itself, Scarlet and Violet I had way more fun with. It's just the Sword and Shield we did do the whole cupcake hunt and then beat the region with cupcake. Which made that very special and just very fun and silly. You know, but I, I feel like with Scarlet and Violet I actually like... You know, I actually used Pokemon and shit. We did still do it with a weird challenge, ultimately, where, like, we just didn't have badges for half the game, which made it quite fun. That kind of made that, like, that game memorable, too. Did he just use Endure? Jesus Christ. Come on, bud. He doesn't want to go. How come you keep animations out? It turns, uh... Makes it just turns like the nine minutes long to fourteen. It's because you you have to have them on when you play online. You don't have a choice. I do actually have them off, when, but I'm doing this with other people. Just relax. Just chill. This is a calm stream. You're not making efficient time, Dad. You're not making efficient time. It's fine. You wanted another very tangibly painful hunt? You could try to get a shiny Alpha Burmy or Cherubi in Legends Arceus. Somewhere in the realm of 1 in 18,000. Uh, nah, I'm... I'm good. I, I, I'm really... I'm fine for that. Hey, hey! Hey, Dan. I had an idea for something really painful and torturous you could do. No, thanks. We, we've done this too many times. Uh... That's a Toxitricity, that's a Malamar, it's gotta be Grimmsnarl. We've lost optimal pace for getting the Pokemon then. I'm sorry. Hey Dan, I think I'd be sent to hell and having his soul be eternally damned. Would make for a really fun stream. <laughs> like, hey Dan, funny idea for a stream. What if you just die? Wouldn't that, wouldn't that be so zany? So quirky? Can't wait to actually perish on stream. You did die, Dan. VTuber RT did it. It's true. I'm I'm now VTuber, of course. This is all. This is all my rig. This is very fancy. Ah, oh, God. I wouldn't have to keep watching you if you die. So that's a plus. <laughs> Jesus. Oh, thank God, I'd finally get a break if you were dead. Oh, I could enjoy my weekends again, let me tell you. You just keep yapping and yapping. Jesus. Oh, God. Long live the Drift King. Thank you. Can I ask what time you'll be streaming tomorrow? Uh, sure, if you type exclamation point schedule, you get the stream schedule. Uh, I always follow that. I have done for six years. And if it changes, um, just check. The, like, if there is a change, it'll be posted in the Discord server. We always just check that schedule. We've been on that since 2017. 
Where's the Discord? It's linked in the description of every video on YouTube. If you type exclamation point Discord, you use the commands. If you go to the About tab, if you even just Google search RT Game Discord, it'll come up. Like, you know, it, it's about. Are you more of a Ulysses or Portrait of the Artist as a guy, man? <laughs> portrait of the Artist as a guy. <laughs> as a young man. Uh, I prefer Ulysses. There's a whole chapter of a Portrait of the Artist, which is just a religious ceremony. Granted, it's important for Steven's character development, but fuck me, it just keeps going on. It's like a full-on 20 pages. It's just a bit much. Some of you are getting weird again. Hang on, let me... I'm sticking with my Pokemon, if anyone else wants that. Your profile pick on Discord looks good, by the way. Thank you! That's just from when we were on uh, top of Shibuya. I haven't, I haven't, like, changed my picture in, like, three years. So I was like, you know, I should probably do something. Show off a bit of, like, you know, like, the coat. And the suit. I like the old shit post face better. I can get the one of me like smiling where it's like you know that. The one that's always memed on. <laughs> so I don't know if that one is like is that one like a better Twitch TV emote for the channel? That one should really be at it. I feel like that's just appropriate. Might be one for us to pop on. Oh yeah, it says RT wide. Okay. There it is. Good RT Slay is so cursed. Keep away. 100 Q to fly size Eternatus, or 1 Eternatus size Q to fly? I mean, that's just one big Q to fly. You know, and like, it's, that's just basically a Dynamaxy Pokemon. I'm sure it'll be fine. The other guys are gonna bite your ankles. Make it messy. Is there a reason these shinies don't show as shiny until after you've caught them? I think it's because it's like online or something. There's something that determines it. Um, but basically, everyone in the raid has a chance of one of these things being shiny. So even if we don't get the shiny Zekrom here, someone joining us might. Which is still pretty cool. Oh, this is really gonna fuck him up. I actually wasn't as good as I thought it would be. That would do more. I mean, at least it's making him powerful. Or us more powerful, I guess. Defend it. Ever bring back the VTuber model? Yes, of course. I've got loads of stuff planned. You guys have no idea. You really have no idea. It just, like, stuff takes time. But you know, when I have something to show, like it, you know, it'll be ready when it's ready. First thing with the VTuber model is Genshin. Let's go, Honkai Star Rail. We need to talk about it. Oh God. Do a VTuber hot tub stream. I think I'm okay. We, we already had a bat on stream, right? He 
use an ice beam now. Hey Dan, what would you do if someone uh, commissioned a picture of you and Daisy? I, I actually have an amazing picture. I don't know, it might be... I, I need to get a frame for this. Hang on. One sec. I have this here. I've been meaning to like frame this. Uh, I was gifted this very kind of way Max at a convention. <laughs> Might be a bit tricky to see because it's in like a laminated cover, but that is uh, Daisy in a suit holding me in a dress at Dublin Spire. Um, I I've been meaning to get that framed on the wall. <laughs> it's fucking amazing. Uh, thank you for that, Max. Yeah, I just gotta pop it back over here. My, my desk is a mess. There we go. Oh, we did it! We beat Zekrom! Oi! A Premier Ball. He really is our Drift Princess. It's Daniel and Daisy's ship name. I don't think it's gonna work, because both her names start with Dak. Then <laughs> like it's not gonna it's not gonna work. Danzy, oh god, stop, stop, please, please stop. I don't like this. Okay, Mister Mai, Grovo, Grim Snarl, a regular Zekra. Uh, we'll take the Mister Mime. Colossal F. Okay, we're, we're gonna get a few more runs in. Zekrom, please. I wanna see what happens when you actually catch them all, too, because I think Zekrom is the last one I need to get from here. I don't actually know if there's a reward if you're like, oh, you caught them all! Eight eights. Yeah, if, if anyone gets a shiny from doing this, to, to, please do tell us as well. Please do tell us. Gives us, like, faith and hope. Excuse me. Um, you know, I... Yeah, I'll use that, sure. It's got a fairy type attack. I yeah, that Pokemon exists sometimes. We have a few bits here that might help us. Anyway, RT, back to stream ideas. How about you go explore the nine layers of hell accompanied by your good friend Virgil? <laughs> Let's go! What if we just, like, embark on our own odyssey? Get lost at sea. Um, there is an ice type over there. Who's the water type there? Is that a Swamper? It might be. RT's Inferno. <laughs> Do love the stream where uh, RT Soul is just eternally damned. Swamp. It is good already. We live in hope for a shiny. Dealy Zekrom, but we'll take anything we can get. Oh no! I, I don't have one! Oh, because it's not an attacking move. We'll just max Starfall him. That's unfortunate. Pink Swamp Root, please. Yeah, this shiny's cool. Hey there, guys. This is your man, Odysseus, here again, trying to get back to Ishika. <laughs> 
Uh, you think, like, because we've had the Odyssey, we've had Joyce's Odyssey, we haven't had the TikTok Odyssey. What about, like, a Snapchat story version of the Odyssey where, like, he's just trying to get home? Oh, jeez, I lost my keys. A modern man from modern times. James Joyce's TikTok. Took him 10 years to get home. That's gonna be a long Snapchat story. <laughs> Keep packing there. You must dance to blind and lights to pass this skate. You gotta theme it. I, the thing is, I can't even joke about this because I, I have such a poor understanding of TikTok. God, you need to you need to watch some cat videos. Did I even do that on TikTok? I I don't know. I have no idea. I I, I... It's mostly people dancing. <laughs> In summation. I mean, I'll take your word for it, like, I'm not there. He's been stuck on that island for eight years because he's doom scrolling. God, there's just so much in my feed. I have to get through this before I can see Penelope. TikTok is just new vine. I, I didn't. I didn't do Vine either. I'm I'm old, guys. You forget this. Trend sap is huge in this. I I probably should be using it a bit. Ooh. Just been trying to brute force the Swamper. I mean, he's gonna be good at least against Zekrom. Like, that much is guaranteed. It's taking us so damn long to, to even beat him. Thank you, healer, Chansey. So close. Uh, just, just wetter ball from here. I have enough damage. Trend sap for HP. I forgot again. I need to check what strength sap actually does again. For some reason I thought it was like, just lowers their attack. Heals you too though. We finally got there. So sad we won't get to see much more RT content when he dies of old age next week. Like that that's a, that just sounds worrying because like there's there's a day that I'm just going to die that I don't know of, and it's very soon. But for some reason you know when, but I don't. If someone wants to take this swamper. Yep, there you go, Sans. As long as, long, as, long as someone has it. As long as someone has it, just keep that forever now. There's a vile plume, but we also get items if you go this way. It's probably better to just grab the items. No backseat, no spoilers for the death stream. <laughs> no spoilers. Don't tell him, guys. He's gonna die. Don't let him know. Uh, uh, leftovers is pretty good. Just be bulky. To your conscience will be downloaded to the web itself. You live forever in our hearts and minds. 
God bless you. Thank you. Ah, I'll, I'll be dead, but you'll have my Terraria Let's Play. So don't worry. You'll still have Pokemon Showdown Sundays. <laughs> Guys, the prophecy specifically instructed us not to tell. <laughs> What are you doing? Uh, let's, let's just get a little bit of HP here. Cyber RT game hologram streams. Get ready. AI Dan watch for years and years. I'm in my chair today for some reason. Don't worry guys, tries as mighty cannot escape what has been foretold. Yeah, I feel like you guys, if you guys were getting like the prophecy for like my death, I feel like that's coming from an unusual source. Like you know how like they tell jokes on the back of a penguin bar? I feel like that's what you guys are reading. Like, RT game will perish in 2023. Hello, RT January 3rd! <laughs> that is so ominous. <laughs> Seven days! Not long now! October 24th, 2037, smiley face. <laughs> oh no. Welcome to the next final- no, welcome to the final destination stream. I can still watch you when I'm 60 years old. Don't worry, I'm planning to still be here when I'm 60 years old, right? I'm going to see a very old streamer on the internet. Conversations will still be the same. Like, instead of like, I don't, I don't get TikTok. When I'm 60, I'll be like, I never understood TikTok. Now it runs the government for some reason. I don't know what's happening. Local pensioner catches shiny Zekrom. <laughs> local pensioner. That, like, that's just like saying local old man. <laughs> local old guy. Just doesn't sound right. Oh, the local doctor, the local shopkeep, local old dude. Man of age. And when you're 60, I'll be 48. You're so old. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Eldegoss get. Pokemon to me is just like not Whimsicott. Like just a bit too similar of a design. Local village crazy old guy. I remember TikToks. I remember Fortnite. I remember when the chat said sus. It's like, ah, oh, he's lost it. We've been able to communicate properly with him for weeks. Local fossil. Just, just have like a news headline with like local old shit. <laughs> it's all this shit guy. Okay, ground might be good. I 
can't really tell. Fighting is Hitmonchan. Hitmonchan can be good, but it's actually a heal here. It probably makes more sense just to pick that up. This is going to be another Stunfisk. I feel like we've had like four today. Okay, Palpatode. Sure. This is so calm. Bless. Boom blast. Daniel, a loving shark, killer, and monster. He will be missed, kinda. I feel like if I die, like, the picture of, like, for my obituary is gonna be something like me, like, in the bathtub. <laughs> be something really stupid. It ought to be me with the, like, face. That one. It's gonna be RT Slay. Promise if you die, we'll miss you just a bit. Ah, thanks! Oh! Don't put yourselves out now, you don't exhaust yourselves. Don't spend too many emotions. Not when you die, it's if you die. Oh <laughs> uh, yeah, I've gotta live forever. I'm gonna live forever or die trying. Pop him down a bit. When you die, can we spend channel points on confetti for your funeral? <laughs> My family's just like in mourning and stuff. I was like, okay, we gotta set up the live stream. We gotta get this right. I'll have a live streamed funeral. Yeah, you gotta go out with a bang. One final chance. I can leave like, like stipulations if I will. So my family wants anything, like, they have to put on a bit of a show. Help a toad get. Chat picks the music funeral stream. <laughs> it's just... This must be so inappropriate. We are here today to mourn the loss of local streamer RT game. Ha 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 ha! Staying alive! Staying alive! Hey, can someone turn that stereo off? Fucking Among Us tune starts playing. Here to celebrate the tragic passing of RT game. Yeah. Such a medicine tone. There's a dead person among us. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Has he found any shiny so far? No, we haven't. No, like... I mean, we've had many sessions of this where, unfortunately, we don't find anything. The odds are high, but it's still... It's still kind of rough. There's a 1% chance every encounter of that being shiny. And we only find out at the end. I've gotten some shiny legendaries, though. Got, like, shiny Lahias. Like, we casually got Groudon. We got another one somewhere. Poor Dan, a man where his Twitch chat wishes for his death. But I can take it though. I can take it, so don't worry. We 
They antagonize each other, so it balances out. That's how the world works, right? If we all just hate each other, then we're all fine, yeah? Oh, God. You already died enough in the green screen movie night. Yeah, you guys do have a lot of crypts of meat. Did I say crypts? Crypts? Crisps. You guys have a lot of clips. Uh, of me perishing already. When's the next green screen movie night, by the way? Um, I don't know, I have an exact date yet, but there will be another one. Yeah, there's been a lot of submissions. Just takes time. We kind of just let them pile up a bit, and then we have to, like, kind of vet them all. Organize a playlist and whatnot. Thank you to everyone who's been submitting clips. It's really cool to see. There will be another one, though, so don't worry. Always room for one more death. Got there in the end. Could be good here. I think the Rhythm Heaven one is my favorite. There is so many good ones. I love the one where like I'm terrorizing William Shatner on the plane. Like that that one is so stupid. So menacing. I'm glad people have just had fun. More than anything else, like, just actually playing and messing with the clips. Because, like, it, like that, that, that was the point of it. I want you guys just to have some fun with it. Just hear something stupid for you to, like, make memes and shit with. Have fun. You know? And I'm really glad people have really taken to them. I'll have fun with the ass kicking boots clip. Fucking ass kicking boots. It's just too long. It's so long. <laughs> that clip just keeps going. Eldegas. Alpatoad. Oh, I don't think there's one here again. Uh, Eldegas is he's a bit regular. That's it. I'm getting my ass kicking boots. Behind the scenes for that one, like, McDowell was laughing very hard uh, when we were recording that one. Because he could realize what was happening as, like, I started putting on the boots and the constant, like, don't moves. And it was just, like, torturously long. <laughs> Do a boxing match against Germa. I th <laughs> he will destroy me. All sixes. Don't move parts because it's better since it really sells the lead to it. Well, that, that was the point, yeah. Uh, I'm, it's just unfortunate, like... Because <laughs> I do love that clip. I think it's really funny. But just every time it just came up in the green screen movie submissions, it's just like, okay, we're, we're gonna be here a while, gang. <laughs> you know? <laughs> it's just so stupid for that reason. It's like, oh, God, we gotta wait again. <laughs> oh, shout out to Sussamogus. Fucking join in the lobby. Oh, give me Palisand. Yeah, let's go. We might be sorted here. We got Grim, Snarl, Palisand, and Cryogonal. There's so many picks here already. This might be a really straightforward one. You invested in a shoe ladle? A spoon, not sure what they're called. Do you mean a shoehorn? That's so funny about Sussus and Bogus. Oh, 
god. Yo, I didn't get it. Fable? Um... It's a bit... A bit of slim pickings, I think, this time. Might be something good with that ghost. It's kind of hard to see. as oh, a dual blade. Yeah, I don't really want that here. Guess we have a Clefable. RT, I've made you an obituary, you die in two years. Oh, I mean, it would just be rude not to die now if you've already made it. That just costs more work for you, you know? You've already went out of your way to create my untimely demise. I might as well be polite. He dies tonight. Beat him up. There's enough predictions that you've basically got to die at this point. If everyone picks a day, one of you will be right. And then you can feel special when I meet my untimely end. They cast your vote now. When will he perish? Like 21 25 playing the long con. Good channel prediction on when you die. <laughs> I, I don't know if I like that. <laughs> I make like age ranges. Like, is he gonna die in his like 30s? His 40s? His 50s? 60s? I, I don't like that. That's, that's kind of grim. If you choose to get cryogenically frozen. I don't think that's ever gone well. <laughs> like, something always goes wrong with that plot point. Slower his defense. Big sand castle. Alright, Dad, we'll still love you dead or alive. It sounds like I'm wanted, like by the law. He'll be frozen with Walt Disney. Uh, Dan, related question so we can be more accurate. How good is your diet and do you feel like your body is deteriorating? <laughs> Jesus! <laughs> I mean, my knees, my knees are collapsing uh, more and more every day. I can definitely feel them being worn away. My knees are not what they used to be. Like, ah! So we might have like a cycling accident. Good to know. Good to, I'll write that down. Plan any trips to the Netherlands? Maybe you should. Need to get him new knees. Yeah, it's gonna be it's gonna be the opposite camp for you. It's like camp of you after making the predictions like, oh no! I said he'd live until 70! I gotta make sure he stays alive now. I can't let someone sabotage this. Like, please, please do not perish. Lives until 70 versus dies at 45. <laughs> Those are the two, like, teams. He's gonna be dead at 45 or he goes till 70. Like, to be honest, I wanna... I'd like to think I'll last a bit longer than 70. You know, like... RT will die at 68 because he refuses to die at 69. <laughs> it's just like, nah, nah, like I'm turning 69 this year. I, I don't need this in my life. Um, I'm, I'm just going to cease existing. I've had it. I'm gone. I'm done. It's just for the best.
<sighs> this is poof. He's gone. Oh, this cafe was so fucking bulky. He stops existing when he turns 69, but returns one year later out of thin air. <laughs> they announce in my one year hiatus. I need to wait till I'm not 69 years old before I'm able to stream again. Like Jesus, but a bit longer. <laughs> Oh Jesus took three days to respawn. Think about it. Ah oh, god, Fable was pretty bulky. I'm surprised that took so long. I guess we're just kind of like a more bulky team ourselves. We don't really have much power. Wahoo! So we're good. Mario is here. He broke it. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm good at my sandcastle, I think, for this run. So if someone else wants Clefable work away, you might not want Ninjask. Yeah, I feel like feel like Ninjask is going to be a bit of a rough one. It's only the first one. Jesus. It took so long. Yeah, it's a tentacruel, which is probably not good. So, probably gonna have to go Trevenant. It's the only real option. What do you want to achieve in life? <laughs> Ask him before you go. To be frank with you, like, I mean, this was always my dream. You know, so, I'm, I'm quite thankful for that already. So, you know, if I do die at 45, at least I got to do the, th the, the big one I want to do. <laughs> Bucket list stream when? <laughs> it's down at 45, Dad, and it's like two years from now. No, it's not. <laughs> Stop that. I've never seen a streamer doing this for a decade happy. <laughs> I'm just gonna start turning up to the stream, so it's like... Oh, God. Yeah! What do you want? <laughs> I'm just like, I'm fed up. Like, I'm done. <laughs> Nothing has changed. Oh, God. No one doing anything for a decade is happy, to be fair. I've been doing YouTube since 2011, so I'm actually past that mark. I've been doing this 12 years. I, I've actually been in this a long time now. Damn, please don't die. I did it once. It was awful. <laughs> I won't. I won't. Don't worry. That was old Dan. This is new Dan. Now, we, we've done like, because like, we started in 2011. And then variety content started in 2018. So There's like two milestones. It's like, you know, from when I started doing YouTube and then also when I started it variety just because of you know it, it, it's so different now and it just is it was like the two markers so like you could say either like i've been doing this like you know 12 years or five no content in 2024 <laughs> over this stream transfer from chill pokemon shiny and two i wish rt was fucking dead <laughs> i've got the best community <laughs> Holy shit.
Uh, I'm so, when, when is your life insurance uh, run out? Okay, you might not need to renew that. That might be enough. Anything for channel points. Uh, Trevenant's not a bad one if someone wants, but I think actually the team we've got is just better. Yeah. Like we, we, we all have like a super effective attack here. It's pretty good. Just get some items. I don't see what grass is. Probably just pick up an item. Anyone hear that? <laughs> Let me. Let me just jump ahead of it. Sorry, I was just distracted. Um, am I a special attack? I, maybe. Are they hurting you? Mr. Miyamoto is breaking into my home as we speak. Add your channel point reward for 999 billion is just a picture of a gun. Add like the highest tier reward where it's like, like I actually die. <laughs> like he's gone. You killed him. Okay, throw up the half max HP. Well, that's what that does. It restores more HP than sand, so that's actually really cool. I've never properly used Palace Sand. It's a Pokemon design I really like, though. But I kind of wish Golurk was a different type, because I feel like this guy makes more sense as a ground ghost. Feels like Golurk should either be flying or steel or something, you know? Excuse me. Shiny is so cool. Yeah, the Palestine Shiny is amazing. I think Clover got that. Neurons. A trillion channel points instantly detonates a bomb in RT's place. Like the computer just explodes. I immediately perish. Rock Ghost doesn't exist yet and would fit. Yeah, like that that would have made more sense for Golurk even. It just doesn't scream like ground type, you know? Honestly, I hope someday they kind of do like a type revision just for some Pokemon like that. But it's just like, hey, we're just gonna change this, you know? Because I know why they decide the types currently, it's for balance. More than anything, it's like a huge determinant factor. Why some things like Zorak just are not a fighting type for some reason. But like, Zorak, no not Zorak, um... Oh, what's his name? Electric... Punch Dude. The Legendary. Zorora, that's it. Zorora. Uh, like, his, he should be a fighting type, and he's just not, and it's a balance reason. At least we got Iron Hands now, which kind of fills a similar role, and like... Palmy in that family, but they're not as good. Iron Hands is great. RT, what do you want engraved in your tombstone? This is important. I actually do know what I want there. They used to call me the Drift King back in college. I, I want to be like the funny grave in Fable. That someone just stumbles upon and has a bit of a laugh. Like, one last joke, you know? Is that serious? Yes. That actually is serious. That's what I want. One last joke, you gotta leave him laughing. Man is committed to the joke. I'll, t I'll take the right total of Drift King beyond the grave. It's still gonna be mine. Drift into the afterlife 2027. Guys, I'm not dying in four years.
It's too soon. We've already gave his time among us was too short. Imagine just getting like a like an Amogus reference on your tombstone. It's like oh, I got a lot of imposters in my life. This is how I want to go out. Family likes my hundred bits. Ten channel points to reduce your life by one day. Five hundred to add one day. You do like a reverse subathon where it's like people spend to shorten the stream. <laughs> but then other people can spend to increase the length. They can go longer, so it works both ways. Like the dual subathon, people just start fighting each other. Actually, wait, no, that's a great stream idea. <laughs> The reverse subathon. <laughs> like this could go forever, or you could stop it now. <laughs> the warathon. <laughs> like I don't know what you'd call it. Battle of RT Hill. <laughs> That's not a bad idea, but it's a pretty shit posty concept. Oh god. Clefairy do a subathon, yeah, Clefairy just instantly perished. Oh wait, no, Clefairy was fine. Did I die? Wait, hang on. Oh no. Oh no, I think I'm dead. No, I'm not. We're fine. Someone died there, it's not me. Aha! Let me help. I think we'll be alright. I think Fable can tank another one. I'm helping so much. Terrain Pulse? Never seen that move. It seems so useless. All this conversation with Dan questioned his state status of living. Not gonna lie, after watching your Slay the Princess video, I don't know how you can control your chat. We do our best. Ah, oh, we didn't make it. That's a shame. It's too much damage. No Shiny Trevenant, sadly. Shiny Trevenant is like a sick one. Let's go again. How, how are we on time? Yeah, we're good. Uh, we, we can probably get one or two more in. What do you do for two million subs on YouTube? Can you get a Drift King tattoo? Ah, I already have two million subs on YouTube. I don't think I'd be ever be able to get a tattoo. I'm, I'm too scared. I never be able to do it. Like, I'm really bad with needles. All fives this time. RT, when will you do a face reveal? It's not happening. The temporary tattoo will keep putting it on every day. That just sounds like work. <laughs> Some good ones here. Okay, I'll, I'm I'm grabbing a swamper. Oh, Glaley as well. Yeah, this is a really good start. These are just all really solid picks. Like she's even the septile on that. Got a dragon type attack. Yeah, uh, God, we actually have power on the team. It's great. What about an elbow reveal? <laughs> Behold.
There's a Weezen. Oh, Flygon on oh, a no, Flygon might be good. Maybe I feel like Palaswine is probably the the correct choice. What happened to the Daisy cosplay? Good things come to those away. Stuff. These things, they take time. Famous Gabe Newell quote. We ready when it's ready? I haven't forgotten. But he has said that line a hundred times. People keep asking. So where is it? I already said. Yeah, let's just strand this guy out. Every time you ask, it takes longer. Like, now I've got to start all over. Ah. Oh. Now oh, the costume just spontaneously combusted suddenly. Method acted is not easy, guys. I need to become Daisy. I take it really takes time. Every morning I wake up, I look in the mirror and say, "Hi, I'm Daisy." A delayed Daisy cosplay is eventually good, but a rush Daisy cosplay is forever bad. Local Irish man. The famous quote. <sighs> Get this. I did some collab with Daisy voice actor while in Daisy cosplay. I feel. I feel like though. I. I feel like that should be kind of scary. <laughs> Like, I don't tell them that this is happening. It's like, oh! Look at me now. Hi, I'm Daisy. Who is this scary Irish man? Okay, someone probably wants to take this, but I'm going to stick with Swampert myself. Yeah, it, it does just seem pretty good. Maybe not, actually. Maybe what we have is good enough. I guess we're gonna stay, yeah. Okay, uh, we can just beat up Weezen. I remember in your Daisy Charity Street. I was so unhinged. That was great, though. I mean, he raised a lot of money for an actual good cause, you know? Everyone support of Irish Cancel Suck, you know? I'm happy suffering when it's for charity and stuff like that, you know? You stream in the pub. Yeah, it's just me having a pint. Like, oh, how's it going? Music is this course from what is that DK Summit? It is DK Summit, thank you. Super effect, does this not have levitate? Oh no, Weezen has like a new ability now, doesn't it? Like neutralizing gas or something. Hey Dan, do a boxing match with a chimpanzee. Yeah, sure, I'm sure there's no, uh, there's no, uh, animal welfare issues there or anything of the sort. That, 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 that sounds, uh, ethical. That doesn't sound morally reprehensible. Think you'd be in more danger than the chimpanzee? Probably. 
<laughs> He'd probably just rip my face off. Like, I'd be in a lot of trouble. No issues, because the chimp would just kill you. Charlie, he was convinced he could beat a female orangutan in a hand-to-hand -hand combat. Why does he want to fight a female orangutan? <laughs> I could take her, but but why? <sighs> I could do it. Okay, okay, like Larry. No, no one's asked. Weezing, yeah. I, I don't think this guy is actually that good for uh, Sakuram just because he usually doesn't have much in the way of attacks. Your current party setup might just be best. Keep going with it. Hey, RT, can you fight Bigfoot? I'll donate one smackaroonie to see this happen. Oh, shit. There's a big boy box there. I remember how German was convinced he could dodge a battle axe and then backed out of doing the stream. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> hey, RT, can you find Atlantis? I'll give you a shout out next time I'm out for a drink. Yeah, I thought I saw some. It's not. No way! Nothing! Oh my god! There's nothing there! Behind the green screen, guys. The wonderful world that is Atlantis. <laughs> like at the beginning of every fight, everyone stands up like they've been crawling around these caves the whole time. But they're, they're very narrow caves. Like they're on their hands and knees for some of these like passageways. Having a rough time, but we were actually six party members when we set off. Lost two already. We ate two. Have we got a bit peckish? Do an IRL Dave the Diver live stream. We want to see you fight a shark. <laughs> yeah, I can take a shark. I'll make sushi. Why is Jolty on like surviving so long? He's got a surprise amount of bulk. He sounds like he's supposed to be so frail. Hit him again. My ass nicely will you fist fight a moderately sized child, Dad? <laughs> I know what you're thinking. It's a child. You shouldn't do that. But this kid, he's pretty big. Hear me out. Oh, Jesus.
Hunger Games game with your characters. Isn't there- there's like a hex generator game or something of that, isn't there? <laughs> like, you kind of just sit back and just watch it unfold. It's a website. Hunger Game Simulator. I actually might be kind of stupid to just like do it at the end of a stream or something. Maybe not today, just because like the setup and that it's all a bit wonky. I won't die would ironically be the one not to die. Hey, can you please pet my dog Francis? He likes getting pet. Yeah, sure, I'll, I'll call around. Be there in five. I, I was actually on my way. Some site that has also really big competitions. I have some friends who watch Survivor and Big Brother and use the same site simulators. Oh, there's like a few of them now, so that's cute. Yeah, I remember them. You used to have a lot, like, a lot more like browser-based and like text games like that. I vaguely remember. It was called Zork or something. It was like something weird. I can't, I can't remember. I've got a hazy memory of this. And you have any tips on where to visit an airline? I'd love to see a waterfall. I, I don't think we really have many waterfalls, to be honest with you. I'm trying to think. Yeah, we don't we don't really have that big of mountains, you know? We have small ones. Wicklow County, it's probably some down in Wicklow, yeah. Like, because like, if you think of like a big waterfall, like we just, there's just not a thing here. Too small a country. Ah, so we're just tearing through. I'm surprised Weezen is actually so shockingly strong here and murdering him. Didn't think he'd be doing nearly as much. Team is just stacked for this from the start. Don't visit Ireland. There's a dangerous creature that lives there called a Rumble Tumble. <laughs> Gotta be careful now. Fairies will get you. Like all Irish folklore, that like you go into the forest. Yes, you die. Goblins live out there. Okay, fingers crossed. I think after this, we're gonna do... If we don't get it here, we have time for one more. One more run after this. Let's see. But, but we're not gonna need one more run because we're gonna get it right now. We didn't do it. I'll take a wheezing. The funny looking shiny colored Zekrom. Okay, one more time. Please. Please, I want to find Zekrom. I'm desperate to find this lad. All twos. Irish lore is so funny to me because 90% of the time is just the fairies will get you. It, it really is. <laughs> it's how a lot of it ends. Don't do that. The fairies will get you. Don't do that. What would the fairies say? The forever watching, apparently. 
Okay. Oh, I'm going Palestine again. I love this guy. We're actually probably going to be fine here. Oh, we yeah, have. Just pick a bomb, so we're done. Oh, this is easy. That's an absolutely stacked selection. Diggersby as well. Jesus. It's already done. Oh, like, that's everything. There's still a wheezing along the route, too. Because we just need to make sure we pick up, like, items or something. The items are there. Um... I, I would go towards items there myself. Okay. This does give us a few more options, I think. What's the game of the year voting? Why? Uh, it's Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. I just think it's the, I think it's the best Zelda game ever made. Oh, this dude. That's who it is. A bit of a tougher time here, actually, because we only. I mean, we have a bomb of snow. But. Actually, if I lower his defense, then yeah, he's pretty much dead. Spinny Snake. And then, here's the kingdom I voted for. I voted for Mario Wonder for best multiplayer game. Um, purely because of how the online works in that game. I, I, I know we joked about it being Dark Souls 2 a lot. But I actually really think that was made it very fun. Like, because like, that was like a communal game that like I got to play with chat because of that feature, which I really did not expect going in, and it made me really enjoy that game. Like, if they, if they don't do that in the next Mario platform, I'll be kind of sad now. Which like Zelda, I do think Baldur's Gate three will win Game of the Year. I mean, I think I think it's one of those two. I really think it's one of those two. I'd be shocked if something else just stole it. Like, Alan Wake 2! I, I, I just don't see it. You know? Wake sweep. Looks like you need to wake up. Did Starfield get nominated for anything? Just in retrospect? Considering how, like, massive a deal that game was made out to be. One category. Oh. That's grim. Best RPG. So, you're telling me it's just going to lose to Baldur's Gate? <laughs> okay. Doesn't stand a chance. Like, it's, it's already lost there. Yeah, that, that that's grim for Star Yeah, that game really feels like it came and went. I, I think people were just so lies again. Like, I I was kind of excited and interested in until I realized that the entire game was just, like, procedurally generated. And then it was just, just like, ah, who cares? There's, like, nothing unique. Every world is boring. Made me motion sick as well, so I kind of just like left a bad taste in my mouth. Uh, someone probably should take this, but at the same time, our team is so heavily stacked. I think maybe I. Okay, I'm going at it. He's gonna swap. Yeah, we both of these are useless, so we might as well just pick up recovery. So Michael's not paralyzed anymore. Double type better than single, in my opinion. Well, it's just because we know it's a Zekrom at the end. Ghost typing isn't adding anything against Zekrom. Or even normal type, even. That's why they switched there. What are your thoughts on Genshin's nomination? I voted for Genshin Impact. I did. Best, I think, uh, ongoing? Gotta be Genshin.
There's no contest. For someone who plays Genshin literally every day, you shouldn't have. How many hours do you have in Genshin? I, I have not played Genshin in like, I think two years. Like, it's been, it's been ages. I occasionally just open it up, get like a free gem, roll it, and then just never play it. But it winds chat up so much at this point that it's just like, I love that Genshin. So like, Arctic spends all of his money on it. I need more Genshin. Ah, oh, God. Don't you want to experience anime friends? I'm trying to think like where, where else I cast some boats and that. There's just a lot that came out this year. It feels like it was a very good year for games. And shout out to the amount of like, I guess like, you know, smaller indie games too and that. Like, we, we play a lot of them. Eric and Arcadia, like, I mean, it's probably too late for nomination cycle this year, but I would hope that next year that is put up for something, because I, I genuinely think that's, like, an amazing indie game. I think, like, considering the acclaim, like, a game like Inside got for, like, its mechanics and innovation, I think Arcadia is just, like, improving on that and make doing it better. I'm glad to see people are like like discovering that game through the video now too. Like, I was I was kind of hoping that might happen, just to kind of get a bit of a spotlight on it. Devs even poked their heads and just said like you know thanks for sharing it and that. There's like left a YouTube comment, which is very sweet. Um, if we go up there, we can get an item. If no one's changing a Pokemon, it probably makes the most sense to do that. Pat, thanks for 300 bits. I find it inspiring you stuck with this for 12 years, especially since you're someone I look up to. I struggle to imagine doing anything for 12 years straight, even for things I'm passionate about, ADHD. Thanks for sticking around long enough for me to find you in this community and be living tangible proof of something. Uh, I appreciate uh, that holistic de dedication is possible, even if it's fundamentally harder for me to achieve. Hey, no problem. Oh, that's, very, that's very kind of you. Like, thank you. Like, genuinely. I'm, I'm glad you enjoy the content, yeah. Like, I mean... For me, for me, like, I it, this does genuinely just bring me a lot of joy, and like I've always been kind of like quite like, passionate for this, you know. I'm very thankful for doing this for as long as I have. Um, I know with like the variety content years, like the biggest life changing thing for me was just I'm just going to do whatever I want now, you know. And that, that was a that was a huge departure. It was scary for a while. Um, because of that, because, you know, it's like, oh, it's new, and he's not playing TF2 and shit. But I'm so glad I did it, because now it's just like, I'm just having fun. I, 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 I can never see myself just getting tired of video games. Like, I, 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 like, games are the thing that, like, I want to spend my time with. I just love playing games. Um, you know, I, I, I'm thankful to be kind of given this opportunity. And be in a position where, I, you know, I can be happy and have fun and just do this for a living, you know? I can't believe this video is that oh shit, it's the Wii Play theme. Yeah, it is. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Um <laughs> took me a minute. It's like bye. <laughs> yeah, I, I really need to heal here. Uh, I'm gonna try and get some HP in. Torkoal is killing us. Yeah, thanks. No, I mean, I, I genuinely do believe, you know, like... You know, like, when you're having fun, your passion, and you love what you're doing, you're gonna want to do it. You can keep doing it. That's not a good way of phrasing that. When you love what you're doing, and do what you do, and you keep doing do, then you do the do! What? You know what I'm saying. 
I genuinely do love what I do. Me on writing books. <laughs> God. This is the first stream of yours I've been able to watch live in a long time, and I'm glad I got to see it before you die soon. <laughs> Thanks. Appreciate it. <laughs> You're not going to be living much longer, Dan. Ah, oh, JF, thank you for a thousand bits. Thank you very much. I just want to say I've really been enjoying this chill, and I can't wait to see you suffer playing Sekiro tomorrow. Hope you have a wonderful evening. Thank you very much. It's very kind of you. Very much looking forward to suffering. Gotta set up that live stream funeral soon. We really need that RT old emote. Ah. Uh -huh. Yeah, that, that, that's a good idea for a emote. That is a good one. We are going to be swapping a few emotes around um, in the near future again. We're wanting to kind of swap a few. It's always just the case of retiring some of the ones that aren't used uh, as often. Uh, wide lens. It's all kind of terrible. Just, it's just adding a few new, uh, uh, even like touching up some old ones too. Retiring emotes, just like you'll be retiring soon. God damn it. When's the next video coming out? Well, it's gonna be a cheeky segue after this stream. But, uh, the Super Mario RPG Supercut is actually going to be out immediately after we this. It, it's out in five minutes. This will be a cheeky segue. Um, but like, that's tonight's video. When's your next video coming? Well, when's the next upload for the RT Game channel? What do we have in store next? How long am I going to have to wait? You don't have to wait, because that video is out right now. Yeah, two hour movie is gonna be there for you to watch tonight. Enjoy it. Have fun with it. And one more thing. I have to wait a whole five minutes and that's rude. <laughs> oh god. Oh, Amos, thank you for the tier 2 gift sub. Yeah, thank you very much. It's very kind of you. Are you going to stream in the retirement home? I will if I can. They can't stop me. I'm hoping we actually beat Sekrom this time too, because this is it. I'm, gonna, I'm going to be going after this. Fingers crossed. Let me upload that one video you promised like 200 years from now. I like schedule an upload when I'm dead. <laughs> like all have died, and it's like, ha, gotcha. Here's another video. <laughs> Just because I'm dead does not mean the videos on the RT Game channel will stop. Oh, it's growing strong. Okay, we're alright. That means we can still have one more debt and we're fine. Do you not have a ground type move? Thieves. That might, that, that might be better with stab. Time capsule stream that doesn't get seen again for 20 years. Time capsule stream is a fun idea. Kind of effectively have the E3 time capsule. Uh, for looking back at the game industry 20 years ago, currently. I, I, I'm actually genuinely excited for that. Part of me, like, after doing that, like, E3 or 20 years ago, it was like, Okay, let's do 2004, but it's like, no, you gotta wait. You have to wait. I, that's gonna be, like, a new annual thing. 
We're like, like we're just gonna look back at what was promised 20 years ago now. But 2004 next year. Get excited. I think that's the year where like Iwata pulled the DS out of his pocket. So that's like a oh shit kind of moment. Can't wait to see what uh, Nintendo's got in store. Uh, I think that's the last one. He's dead. There we go. This time for real. Keep going the wrong way for the balls. It's gonna be the shiny. Manifested. It's gotta be this time. Live and hope. It has to be the one for realsies. If anyone else gets one, let us know. What are the odds? It's a 1% chance on every Pokemon at the end. Sandaconda. Relicant. Oracle. That's not a shiny. Oh, despair. There's nothing here. There's nothing here. We did our best, gang. One more try and you'll surely get it. Uh, no, I, I gotta leave it there. I have to leave it there. But, thank you everyone for coming on by for the chill stream. I hope you all enjoyed it. Thank you for taking part in the session here. Uh, I thank you to everyone who subbed, gave bits, gave subs, mods as ever for being on hand. I hope you all enjoyed it. Thank you very much, guys. It's been lovely and chill. Uh, we'll be back tomorrow uh, with Sekiro. We're going to be starting. At 3 in the afternoon, usual stream time. Wish me luck. It's gonna be it's gonna be a rough one, potentially. If you want something more to watch from me, uh, the Super Mario RPG movie Supercut has just gone live on YouTube. So it should just be up now. Uh, it's two hours long. It's the entire game. Enjoy it. Weekend entertainment for you. Uh, don't forget about the merch sale as well. That's only for like this weekend, I think. This weekend and I think Monday. It's like close to 60% off everything. And it's the last chance to get any of that too because we're, we're clearing the inventory out. Like, last chance for that, I want die plushies, the Christmas jumper, and the RT, like, color block hoodie. I'll pop a little link for it on the new video, too, just to give it a cheeky mention. Sekiro in 21 hours. That's a bit weird to say it like that. Like, it's not long now. Okay, let me see who else is streaming too, so I can leave you in someone's care, as ever. Who is going? Who is going? Okay, Miss Cupcakes is actually still streaming, uh, Yakuza. I'm surprised she's still going. She, she's been streaming a while. Uh, I feel like she might be wrapping up soon, but go say hey to her anyway, okay? I'll leave you in her care. Uh, until Sekiro tomorrow, gang. We get a peaceful night's rest. And suffering. Take care, gang. <laughs>